he is how to fit a belt to a washing machine or a tumble dryer. The first thing we need to do is unplug the appliance and make sure nobody can plug it back in whilst you're working on it. There's a couple of screws at the back that you need to undo then you can remove the lid which will give you access to the top of the washing machine. That's the pulley on the motor and that's the pulley on the drum. That's both of them. I'm just going to remove this spring to make it a little bit easier. So the first thing you need to do is obtain the correct belt which you should be able to get from any good appliance shop. Some machines you can't do them from the top, you actually have to take the back off the machine but on a large majority of them you can do them through the top. So first of all we need to loosen this bolt which is the tensioning bolt. So I will just give that a few turns. And then we can push the motor in towards the drum. Now we're going to feed the belt down the back of the machine and hook it onto the back of the drum pulley. It can be quite tricky this. When you've done that you just need to pull it tight and slip it over the pulley on the motor which can be quite difficult. When you've got the belt on it's essential that you get it central otherwise it's just going to slip off again when it starts spinning at speed. You've got to be really careful not to trap your hand when you're turning the belt. There is a little bit of movement on the uh, mortar side where you can adjust the belt to get it central. Once you're happy with it you can push the mortar back away which will tension the belt and tighten the nuts and bolts. just nip that up using two spanners or a ratchet and a spanner and that will keep the tension on the belt. When you've done that you can just give it a spin again just to check it and that's it. You can now refit the lid and then plug it in and test it. Thanks for watching.